What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Excuse the mess. I got a lot going on with the backdrop of my studio. You guys can see I've put together this brand new shelf, which I'm really excited about. We're also going to get a nice wall print up over here. But I've got a sweet product review to go over today. Dex Protection was nice enough to send me this Dex carrying case, which I am pretty excited to review. I'm not affiliated with Dex Protection in any kind of way, not sponsored by them. So I'll be giving my honest opinion of their products as I usually do. But I will preface this by saying I am a big fan of Dex Protection storage uh, products. I use them for my standard stuff, my Pokemon stuff, uh, and really enjoy uh, the storage potential of their products. So I'm pretty stoked to get into this. As you can see, I did ding the box up a little bit. I didn't receive it like that. I actually was setting up this overhead camera and uh, it dropped it on on the box. So that's, that's my bad. Uh, beautiful box here. It says modular design to fit most deck boxes. Luxurious triple layered Safiano exterior. I don't even know what Safiano is, but it sounds Luxur luxurious and real velvet interior, I will say. Uh, Dex Protection usually uh, has some very nice lining of their storage stuff as well. You can see here that uh, this is what it looks like on the outside and on the back it says heavy gauge tough zipper, shockproof rounded corners, 550 plus single sleeve cards, holds two playmats, so you could use it as a playmat holder as well. Dyson token zippered pouch included, 230 plus top loaders, ergonomic removable straps, double reinforced carrying handle, and uh, yeah, it can hold deck boxes too. So I think there are a lot of different uses for a box like this, uh, spe uh, specifically that I could use for my Pokemon collection. I am a, uh, I am a collector of old decks. So I'm excited about the potential to put some old decks in this carrying case to carry around to tournaments. That would be a great solution for those. I also have a Pokemon Cube, which I think would potentially fit in the carrying case. So I'm gonna see what the case is like for both holding deck boxes and single cards. You can see it does have that nice, um, little strap there, carrying case, seems sturdy. Uh, the strap does seem to be mounted very sturdily to the case. Like, I don't feel like it. it is not cheaply designed. It would not uh, get ripped off very easily. So cool on that. It does have some extra little buckles here on the side as well if you wanted to mount maybe a shoulder strap to it. So that's pretty neat. And the outside of the case is definitely tough. It's not like too plasticky. It, it does feel like kind of rubbery uh, as well and, and um, does feel strong and malleable. So it won't crack, which I think is important if it's getting tossed around with luggage. I think that this uh, definitely feels like a box that uh, would withstand a decent amount of pressure and be able to protect the cards inside while not getting cracked. If we open the box up, we do see the velvet interior that they uh, they advertised, which is pretty neat. It does come with a little dice compartment as well, which fits snugly into that little spot. And then here is the shoulder strap that you can apply to the outside if you wanted to sling this thing over your shoulder. So uh, nice box, basically a, you know, just a very nice case. But I mean, the real question is what, what fits in this thing? So I'm gonna get some stuff and see what fits. Here I have with me some old decks. We've got some decks from 2015, 2014 in pretty standard deck boxes here. And I'm gonna see how many of these deck boxes will fit and close into the case. I think that using this case to carry old decks from tournament to tournament would be a stellar use for it. As you can see right now, I am just using a standard uh, two row, just cardboard box. And that's kind of been 
our solution up until this point. So I'm excited to see if this could be a potential workaround for that. It looks like it does, I guess, very snugly fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight deck boxes across there. I don't feel like I'm really gonna be damaging the deck box by by fitting that eighth one in there. And these are just ultra pro plastic deck boxes there. That does feel snug, like they ain't going anywhere. I don't feel like I'm bending the deck boxes up too much. They kind of comfortably fit in there uh, against those corners. And then I'm not sure if this top row fix, fits deck boxes as well. I don't, it's smaller, right? So we see it doesn't fit deck boxes like this one did. And then it will not fit a standing up deck box like that. Uh, it could fit a couple of lying down deck boxes, I suppose, if you wanted to put your deck boxes in like that, you could fit three more deck boxes that way, or uh, let's see, we're not fitting that way, that doesn't close, so I'm, I'm putting it at 11 deck boxes. It can fit 11 Ultra Pro deck boxes if we go ahead and close that thing up. You see that those can get tossed around in there and open it back up. And voila, there they are. So I think 11 deck boxes, that's pretty nice. I think probably best off finding some other thing to put up here. You can store any sort of like, you know, play mat potentially. Let's see if a play mat fits up there. It does say that it fits two play mat. So you could throw a play mat up there. We'll roll this one up and see if it fits. Also, you know, dice bags, things like that, extra sleeves, anything that you want to throw up there in that compartment. That actually fits a play mat very nicely, so that's pretty cool. I think eight decks is a nice amount of decks to store, enough for a couple of formats, you know, kind of uh, to keep in your in your case or of course you could put just about all of the relevant standard decks that you would like to keep in your testing circle in one carrying case so pretty dope there and of course you could throw another playmat here to carry two playmats your dice let's open the dice container we haven't really taken a look at that yet pretty cool all right you fit like some dice in there it's a couple inches by a couple inches. Not huge, but enough to fit some dice, some poison counters, things like that. Now, the other question that I have about this carrying case is how many cards can I fit in? It said you can fit 550 single sleeved cards in this case. Now, I am a little bit concerned about storing unboxed cards in a case like this because I wonder are they going to you know, flip over or are they going to slide out of place? So I'm gonna go grab my cube and see what from my cube fits in this Dex Protection carrying case. I now have my Pokemon cube with me. It is 360 cards plus energy. They are single sleeved in Dragon Shield matte sleeves. So we'll see how many of these 360 cards do you fit in the bottom portion of the carrying case here. It does appear that the whole thing is gonna fit pretty easily and comfortably there, but I am worried about the cards potentially sliding around. I mean, I guess they do have that lip there to protect them from moving too much. I'm gonna fill out the rest of the space with some energy that I do have from my cube over here on the right, but I do wanna leave a little bit of room for the cards to potentially jostle around and see if they get dislocated in any kind of way. Closing the case up, I do recognize that you have to be careful of the corners of your cards, make sure that you don't catch them in the rounded corner of the carrying case. So that is something to look out for, but they do close on the cards just fine. And then let's give it some rotating around, simulate a little bit of traveling here and there. You do hear that the cards are moving up and down in the case as they would in 
a larger carrying case if you're worried about your cards getting a little bit too much movement they are kind of loose in the inside of the case and then if we open up we do see that there is some you know a little bit of minor dishevelment amongst the cards they have been jostled around quite a bit but they have not left their row so you can use this for putting loose cards into if you are looking for a cube carrying case this definitely does uh, fit the bill and will keep your cards protected in a you know pretty convenient carrying case for that i think personally i like this case the best for carrying decks that are in boxes as we saw on the back of the box there if you're using larger deck boxes like the dex protection uh, deck boxes that are a little bit bigger profile it does fit four of those in the bottom here if you take a look it fits four of the larger deck boxes or as we demonstrated here eight smaller profile ultra pro deck boxes the last thing that i want to show off is how many dice can we fit into that little dice container since we do have the convenient little dice bag here can we fit enough dice to play a game of pokemon cards obviously if you're using smaller dice we have uh, a mix though big dice small dice if you're using smaller dice you should be able to fit plenty of these smaller profile dice in here you could fit some counters as well and close it up sure and i feel like that is pretty snug still enough room for the dice to shake around so we could probably fit a few more in there if we needed to but that is plenty of dice to play a game of pokemon i would say and the counters that we need you could fit the gx counter there in the lid if you wanted to toss that and let's show it we could probably throw that gx counter right up there if we wanted to close it on up and voila so enough space in the little dice container to carry enough dice for a game of pokemon cards and all in all Definitely a sound and sturdy carrying case. I look forward to using this for transporting some of my old decks, my vintage decks to and from tournaments. I will be carrying my vintage decks probably in individual deck boxes within this case so that they have that extra kind of added layer of protection. But other than that, definitely an A-plus product for me. I think that the outside does feel very high quality. The strap is high quality. I like that it's got the buckles as well for the shoulder strap, if you'd like to carry it that way. And uh, all in all, a very cool product from Dex Protection. So thank you all for watching my product review video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check out fullgripgames.com for all of your trading card game singles and online codes needs.